Hey everybody, what is up? I'm the Mac Mage, and in this video we're going to be talking custom widgets for Tracked, so stay tuned. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, let me start by telling you a little bit about what Tracked is. Tracked is a website that allows you to track the TV that you watch, be it movies, cartoons, whatever, t uh, TV shows. It allows you to track those, those things that you watch and that it will give you recommendations based upon what you watch. Now, why this is um, significant is because this is an add-on or a service for Cody. And the cool thing about the way that this works is that what you can set Tracked up to do is to display the newest episodes on your Kodi home screen. So what I have been trying to do with builds and other things like that lately is to get custom widgets for my Tracked lists. That way I can just come in, to, come in directly to those Tracked lists and I don't have to worry about shuffling through to Salts and Exodus or whatever else I'm using for my Tracked. So this is why I started trying to learn how to do custom widgets for myself. And I have found an easy, easy way to do it and I wanted to share it with you guys because I haven't really seen any easy ways of doing it on YouTube. So over here you see Murky TV and then you see TV shows. These are two of my track lists. Murky TV has all of my vampire and medieval fantasy kind of zombie stuffs. And then um, TV shows has pretty much all the TV shows that I watch. Um, because I couldn't figure out how to do separate lists for everything that I watch. So I made just one homogenized TV show list. But now that I've figured out how to do that, I'm actually doing different widgets for um, everything that I watch. And so I'm going to show you how to make your own custom list for your tracked collection or TV list. So it's really simple. Now you can do this on any skin that supports widget making, custom widget making. The two that I know of are Aeon Nox and Mimic, and I am using the Mimic skin. The way that you get skins is that you will go to settings from your Confluence skin, the skin you're on right now most likely. You'll go to settings, or excuse me, you'll go to systems, and then you'll go to appearance, and then you'll go to skins, and uh, just right arrow click inside skins. And then you can choose whatever skin you'd like to use. Most of you will be on Confluence. Aeon Nox and Mimic are the two that will support uh, custom widgets. So you will have to go into the Get More section. And you can find these skins in your Get More section. And once you have those skins, you can begin making your own custom widgets. All you have to do is go into Settings, Setup Menu, Menu and Widgets. Okay, and then here on the left will be all of the widgets that you have to choose from. Now, you may not like all the widgets that are here um, as they're labeled, but that's where the customization comes in. Okay, so let's pick a widget that I won't use for the purpose that it's intended for. Let's go into this TV shows. I'm going to make this one of my um, tracked lists. So I'm going to go into this widget, and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to click into where it says choose item from menu. Okay, now we're going to go into add-ons. We're going to go into video add-ons. Then we're going to choose the add-on that our tract is set up to. So it could be Velocity, Exodus, Salts. Um, I think the Royal Wii even has um, tract access now. Wherever you prefer to go to for your lists or your collections. So in my case, I'm going to go to Stream All the Sources. Okay, now under here, I'm going to go to TV Shows. And I'm going to look for my lists. And then I'm going to select the list that I want to, to um, add a widget for, which is the cartoons list. And then when I get here where all of my um, content is, I'm just going to click create new item from here. Okay. So now 
the label should be set to what your list is titled, and then your action will be set to where your list is. You can select an icon if you so choose. Um, it's not necessary, but you can if you'd like. Uh, the other thing that you can do is select the background, but the other important thing you need to do is select your widget. So again, for selecting your widget, what you're going to want to do is go into add-ons, video add-ons, and find your list again. So you're going to want to go right where you were to salt, TV shows, and find my list, find the name of the list that you want, and use as widget. And then don't touch this, just click on done, and that's all you have to do. So I'm going to go out to my home screen, and then I should be able to find the widget we just made, and here are the cartoons in my list. And that's really all that there is to it. So you can have a list for every one of your tracked lists as long as you have um, the amount of widgets for it. So that's pretty much it. Really easy to do. Um, and then also, when if you don't want the widget, like if you want to put the widget down and you just want to click into the menu, when you click enter into the menu, it's going to bring up all of your content right there too. So it's really awesome. You can even make submenus for these. You can customize submenus. Um, it's a really, really awesome way to make a widget and really easy process. So hopefully this helped you. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider liking or sharing the video. Also, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And finally, if my tutorials do help you out, please consider subscribing to the channel. It would really help me a lot. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.